Okay? Probably, I mean, I don't hear a lot of people bursting into tears. I do hear a little bit of giggling, which means you're probably doing it right. So, if you're, if, so the, the problem is not what your gremlin says. And we spend all of our time arguing with our gremlin. The problem is simply how your gremlin says it. Here is the trick for permanently changing your gremlin's voice tone. Okay? And this is, yeah, listen carefully because you want to do this very precisely. It has a very precise order. Start playing your gremlin and as you listen, have the voice get lower and slower until all you hear is a low hum. And then speed the voice back up and this time have it be using the wonderful voice. So if it's your nagging mother, you know, you never do anything right. You never do anything right. So you're going to transition from the old voice to the new voice, and you're going to do it by slowing it down and making it softer, and then speeding it up and making it louder. Do that, and then and make sure that the new voice... And by the way, you know, people say, does it have to say the same old things? It's, you can't make it say the same old things. It will not work. As soon as you change the voice tone, the words will automatically change too. So don't worry about the words. Do the voice tone transition. Make sure you keep it coming from the same location. If the voice is behind you and to the right, keep the new voice behind you and to the right. Do it so it's the new voice, then stop, start again with the old voice, and do it again, and this time do it faster. And just keep doing it. Start with the old voice, go to the new voice. Clear your mind. Old voice to new voice. Old voice to new voice, and do it faster and faster and faster until you're doing the entire transition in less than a second. So as soon as the, as soon as the, blah, blah, you're horrible. Okay, so you, you won't even be able to get through a full second of the old voice, instantly transition to the new voice tone. The faster you do this, the longer it will stick and the better it will work. So speed is the key here. Um, and since, since speed is the key, uh, and since we don't have a lot of time left, like a minute and a half, um, what I want you to do is, is close your eyes and do this right now. S hmm? How do you do it? Example, okay, let's say I've got a voice that's, that's, that's behind me which says, oh my gosh, Steve, you're horrible at math. So every time I even think about doing math, the voice stops me from doing math by going, Steve, you're horrible at math. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go, okay, start the voice, Steve, you're horrible at math. And then, Steve, you're horrible at math. And I'm going to make sure it's still coming from the same place. Steve, you're horrible at math. Steve, you're horrible at math. You're horrible at math. Oh, you're bad. Right. <laughs> I mean, meaning, remember, meaning just tells you how to interpret the emotion. So does that help? Okay. If we had more time, we would do, you know, we would break it down and all that, but we don't. So I, but, but I really want you to experience it. So again, so close your eyes. I'm doing, do, do, yeah, do it in your head. Yes. <laughs> do it in your head. <laughs> and make sure that you have it coming from the same location as the previous former icky voice. So you start with the old voice and you have it get lower and slower. And then you speed it up and have it get louder as the new voice. And you do that over and over and over, faster and faster until it takes less than a second. And do it at least 10 times. Faster and faster every time. Okay, I see people starting to open their eyes and since we're really short on time, I'm going to go ahead. How many people did it? Okay. Now, can you get, can try to get the old voice back and find out. Can you even get it back? Okay. If you can, do it a few more times and do it faster. But if you can't, congrats. Now, how long did that take? A minute. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing. Anyone, any leaders you coach or even yourself, if they're going to be out there leading they're going to have to move outside the comfort zone, and that's going to be fearful. When the fear comes up, ask themselves or yourself why, and start to pull out and identify what are the beliefs that are being activated. Oh, no. Act, right. what, what are the beliefs that are being activated? Once you know what those beliefs are, identify the self-talk behind them, and then do this. Notice the voice tone and the location, and use this technique to change it. I know of no better way to blast through your limiting beliefs. And let me tell you, coaches are among the very few professions I know of in the world that really do value people over all of the other stuff. We have a really challenging century coming up ahead of us. 
And we need everyone we can who is in the people changing profession, who is in the business consulting profession, who is in the profession of helping people see the world in different ways, to really start elevating consciousness towards the global problems that are facing humanity. Because however much we may want to believe that certain things will work themselves out, certain things will and other things won't. And it is up to us to tackle the other things and help them work out in a way that works for all of us, for our clients, for our culture, and for our world. Go out there and do it. Oh, and buy my book, of course. Um, go out there and do it. And when you find yourself thinking those gremlin thoughts, when you find yourself in positions where you're like, you know what, I just don't think I have what it takes today. Stop and put yourself in the mindset where you do. And you can then still take the day off but if you keep yourself in a powerful, energized place, you're going to bring everyone around you with you. And if you're not a force for good in the world like that, why bother? So please, go out and be a force for good. Thank you very much. Thank you.